To write the formula for silver carbonate, we go to the periodic table. Silver, that's AG. And then carbonate, that's not on the periodic table. It ends in ATE. It's a polyatomic ion. So we look carbonate up on a table of common polyatomic ions, and it's CO3 2 minus. AG is a metal, and then this carbonate, that's a group of nonmetals. So this is an ionic compound. And when we have ionic compounds, we need to take the charges into account on the silver here. And then we have the carbonate ion, which has an overall charge of 2 minus. For transition metals like silver, they tend to have variable charges. But silver is an exception. It's always 1 plus. We have our 1 plus and our 2 minus. And the charges, they need to add up to 0 to have a neutral compound. Silver carbonate, that's a neutral compound. So we can change the subscripts out here to make that happen. We'll use something called the crisscross method. We'll move the 2 from the carbonate down here and the 1 from the silver out here. We don't need to write the 1 by convention, and we can get rid of the charges. And that's the formula for silver carbonate, Ag2CO3. Let's quickly check our work. Silver, we said, was 1 plus, and the carbonate was 2 minus. So we have the 1 carbonate, which is the 2 minus, and then two silver atoms, each is 1 plus, 2 times 1 plus, that's 2 plus. 2 plus and 2 minus, they cancel out. Net charge is 0. This is the formula for silver carbonate. Let's clean it up one last time. And that's it. Silver carbonate. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.